Hi folks, Gamebug here again, and once again we are playing the Black Death, the Long Night update, which is version 0.12. So, we are checking out the Merchant Glass. Now, if you watch my uh, 0.11 video about the Merchant, I thought it was a great class. Actually, I thought it was the second best profession in the Black Death at that time. It was varied, it was rich, it was deep, it had lots of stuff going on, lots of pluses to it. Um, lots of great skills and so on and so forth. I really really enjoyed playing the class. So what's it like in 0.12? Well, it's changed and it's changed a fair bit and It's not actually as good anymore. I Found it a bit of a grind and bland you can blast through it very very quickly which is a nice plus but um yeah, there's not a lot to love about it, if I'm perfectly honest. There's not a lot exciting about this class. Now, first and foremost, the weirdest thing about it, which we'll look at, is in the skills. So, I, as a peasant, which I really enjoyed the peasant class, by the way, if you have checked out my peasant video, you can see that, had all the skills that were of the beggar class, and then I had the skills of the peasant, which made sense because they are literally mandatory one after the other. Once you now go into a career beyond that, you don't have the skills of the previous um, profession. Which, I know I'm not the same character because I had to start a new hero. But I think it would have been better if I did. I think basically you should have your skills as a beggar. Then you should learn the skills as a peasant. If, whichever you open, till you um, at least open up the other... Um, professions that are available you should then have those in the next profession along so merchant militia or hunter so I still think at those classes you should have any open skills for the peasant available to you and if you didn't open them they're not there and you would have to go back to being a peasant to open them up that's not actually a thing you actually only ever have it seems your beggar skills plus the skills specific to the class what that would mean, of course, is if I moved to Militia and had all the Peasant skills and all the Beggar skills and all the Militia skills as I went to Knight, I would have all of them. But that would make it a very, very advanced class of Knight and should be a hell of a hard thing to get there and I think it would make the Knight really cool. Ditto if I went Merchant Blacksmith, the Blacksmith should have all the Merchant skills. But if I went to Monk, the Monk should have all the Merchant skills. But the Blacksmith and Monk will never have the same skills because they're on the same tier. And again, if you went peasant hunter and the hunter had all the skills and then as you went to outlaw because outlaws are very poor from what i gather at the moment they would have all the skills of the hunter class making them much much stronger so all the top tier classes would be really really strong and yes there's an argument why bother going back down to the other classes and it makes them a bit redundant but nobody's going to go back to the other classes. You've set them in a tree system that grows upwards. They're no longer just a base class, move to a second class, move to a middle class. Um, and even that was strange, but it, they're, they're in a tree system now. So I do think that the best move forward would be to allow those skills to happen. Because they don't, the class now has a lot less skills. So. I've learnt from this class, I think, I'm not even sure, uh, let's go into what I've learnt. So you have no tool skills whatsoever, so the peasant had the ability to make iron um, tools, but I've forgotten how to do that, technically speaking, um, I have never learnt it because I'm a different hero, but why have I got the beggar skills? It doesn't make sense that I've got the beggar skills all unlocked and not the peasants because I'm a different character, so I shouldn't have any of the beggar skills either. So I've still got all the beggar skills, so I can make really basic garbage stuff, but I can't make like a decent iron pickaxe, for example. So there's no skills whatsoever in Toolsman. This is different to the old merchant who had some skills in these. Um, then we've got the Smith line. Now, this is quite hard to open because everything is three points apart from this one. I will tell you straight away that that needs to be unlocked but i unlocked that as a peasant and again i was like why have i got to unlock it again okay yes i suppose i'm a different class and i no longer have that skill but if i i should really feel i should have kept that as the peasant um 
Knifesmith, I mean that's fine, don't bother with that though at all until later. Open this as soon as you can. Um, as a matter of fact, get that, try to mine some iron ore if you can to get enough experience points ground to get this open. It costs three points. Once you've got this, you can blast through this career. Speedy, speedy, I'll tell you how later. That is the next thing you'll want to open up. Really, really good. And then it's just a question of grinding through it after that, whichever way you want to go. I did all of these, then these, then these, and then these. I'll explain these two in a second. Um, this, yeah, sure, whatever, I'm sure it's fine. But the gambit in the level before, it's just as good. And if you crafted one and kept it in a chest somewhere, you'll still probably have it. Uh, that is actually a really, really good dagger. That's fine, I'm sure, but it's easier to get silver than it is to get uh, iron, and silver is used to make that, so open that. Uh, and then this is how to open up blacksmith. I think that costs four points, uh, which is quite expensive. Um, so this line is a lot, but if you do the thing I'm going to teach you how to do, it's actually quite quick. This line is there. It gives the monkeys. It's an absolute waste of time. Uh, you need to do it there to unlock the monk. That's still great, and it's four points to unlock, which is massive, but bandages do like give you about half your health back, so they are actually really, really good. Um, and you just have to, that's two points, so, and that's actually only two points to open up, but you know, you have to do all this, I think it's one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 13. 13 points to open that, whereas that's three, six, nine, 12, 13, 70? Wow, that's a lot. Uh, and they're the only things you can open up there. Uh, then there's these, which is the Forester's Hat and Forester's Tunic. Now that is actually new and looks quite twee, but I've not actually bothered with it because I want to get out of this class. I've got no interest in it. Merchant's Hat, two points for that, for a hat. Yep, for a hat. And these, Merchant's Tunic and Trousers, four points for some weird reason. That would have made more sense to be four points. It's new and unique. But no, nope, four points, God knows why. Uh, you don't have to open any of these to unlock these two. So unless you're a completionist like me, don't bother. Just blast this and unlock these and then just get out of it. There's no other reason to be in this class. There is nothing unique about this class. It's special ability of I can sell stuff. Don't even know how it works. You can kind of move stuff into your shop. Um, do you drag it or click trade? don't really know what I'm even doing. Uh, I can add a price to what I want to sell it for to somebody, I guess, and they can come up to me and buy it for me like I'm a merchant. Who the hell is going to do that? It's absolute waste of time. Unless you want to sell some armor you've made, I guess, but I'd rather sell it to a shop. Um, so yeah, I'm not, not fantastically enamored by this class at all. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's it. That's all there is to this class. Look, skill-wise, I had tons as a peasant, and basically, I've kept flour and bread roll for some reason, I think. Which doesn't make any sense. Why have I kept these two skills? From being a peasant. But that's it. That's all I've kept from being a peasant. Those two. Oh, no, hang on. And that. So I've kept cooking skills but all my other skills are gone now i don't know if this is from purpose or not but why have they allowed me to keep all of these cooking skills which i can't actually do because i can't plant stuff to get the flour anymore or the oats so don't know don't really know why that's actually there um and it feels like it's a misstep like they've not done that they've done that by accident or have they done that on purpose and the rest is forgotten here I had, yeah, I only had those for being a peasant anyway, so these are new. Um, I had, was the stone? No, I think that's all beggar. Yeah, I had a flat bow, so that's gone. Uh, so, and the ability to make a sword, that's gone as well. So that was part of being a peasant. That's disappeared. God knows why. Tools, all the like advanced tools, they're all gone. All the iron ones that I spent ages grinding. Uh, I've got all the stuff I learned as a peasant and as a beggar in here, but I can't actually make any of it anymore, or should I say I can't learn it anymore. I mean, I get that. Go back to those classes if you want to learn it, but that doesn't make any sense that I've still got them. Again, it's no consistency here. The consistency's gone. 
Um, clothing wise, I've got the stuff that I had as a um, beggar. So the fingerless gloves, dick torso armor, beggar's cloak, beggar's trousers, uh, and cloth. Now, leather and coif, the reason I've kept these is for some reason, and they're unlocked, and I had those as a peasant. But as you can see, they're not unlocked. Why that's two points, I don't know. It's a freaking hat. Um, so, yeah, you can, you can just see for a fact that I have kept those particular things for some reason again. I don't know. I, I can't be bothered telling the developers all this stuff. They've got their Champions Council to, I don't know, do whatever it is that they do apart from annoy people on the forums. Well, they don't all annoy people. Some of them are okay, but some of them aren't. Um, so, yeah, you, you know, I'm... You know, I'll put something on the forum maybe about this if I can be bothered, but that seems like a mistake. But I don't know, and I'm sure I'll be shot down, especially by, again, the Champions Council's people, about saying, you should have all the skills of the peasant. They've given me half of them. Give me them all. Allow me to move into the merchant with all those peasant skills I spent ages grinding. If I didn't grind them and I skipped them, then I shouldn't have them. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to eat some food. Um... But I didn't, I ground them up. I should have them at this class. And if I went into militia, I should have them. They will help me just get a little bit further. And if I went into hunter again, I should have those. They will help me get a little bit further. But I haven't. So I had to spend a point to obviously unlock iron ingot. And I think it was three points for the silver ingot. Um, there's nothing to like about this class because of that. If it had all the other skills, I would think of it actually as a really quite cool class. But it hasn't. It's not got them. And it's not even got the option to learn them. So there's no reason to stick into this class at all. So you can gun through this class very quickly. They may nerf this. I'm going to tell you how to do it now because it's the easiest way possible. So just for my completionist, and you can see I've got three points here, I'm going to unlock those for the sake of unlocking them, because that's me. Completionist, I have done this class, I can move on. It took me about three nights to do it, and I was playing for an hour or so each night, so it's not hard. So how do you get through this class? What's the best way? Well, just before we do, I will point out one other thing. You get a little bit more health in this class, your stamina doesn't increase, and you get a little bit more weight carrying capacity as well again. So you can carry more once again. Um, None of this really changes anymore. So that's the highlight of this career. That's the highlight of this career. And that is the highlight of this career. And I'm sure I probably won't have the Crusader Dagger when I become a blacksmith, which again, doesn't make much sense, but whatever, I suppose, new hero, I'll leave it at that. So how do you get through the career? Let's get back on track. That's how you get through this career really 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 easy to do it using this i unlocked that straight away so i could go and mine a bit of iron um the problem is if you haven't got an iron pickaxe which i can't make i can only make really basic ones so, so if you can buy an iron pickaxe do so you'll get more chance of getting iron from iron ore otherwise you're going to get a hell of a lot more stone from the iron ore especially with an, uh, an awful pickaxe but once you've unlocked that, that's probably going to help you get the skill points for this. If you're happy to just grind through a bit to get this, do this first. You know, get the three points for this first, go for that. You know, there's no skills that really help you beyond, I would say, iron um, or gives you 145 skill points for doing one or three, two, three pieces of iron ore into an iron ingot. So that's why I do that. If you're happy to like grind through a bit, kill a few bandits, make some cotton swabs they're yeah, worth 10 each maybe make some berry jam or actually berry jam is not, probably not the best thing i was gonna say bread actually bread's a really good one but you can't actually get wheat so that's pointless um i suppose you could hunt for wheat and do that however you want to get three skill points get those three skill points to open up a silver ingot anyway once you have silver ingot you're fine you're good to go the other benefit about this class is it does seem to slightly increase your crafting success rate, or if this doesn't, peasant did, whichever. Um, once you have that, once you've got silver ingot unlocked, you need to get yourself 
primitive pickaxe. Now, I would probably advise, if you're if you're willing to risk it, to go as naked as you can. Take some food, take some cotton swabs just in case, maybe a weapon on hand. But you can outrun pretty much everything, so it's only really another player you might have to worry about. And take yourself one or two primitive pickaxes, three if you really want to. Find some iron, uh, some silver ore, um, Ivan's Head Colliery. There you go, that's the easiest place to find it, it's in abundance in there. Don't worry about it being tarnished or that you're mining from, that's actually fine. Mine from that, you actually get more silver with a crappy pickaxe. You get crappy silver, don't get me wrong, than you get, don't get silver in some sense, if that makes sense. You, for every one time you're mining, you might just get a piece of rock. You will most times get a piece of rock and a piece of silver or just a piece of silver. Fill up on silver, get as much in your bag as you can uh, before all your pickaxes break. And then bog off back to a town. There's one not far from Ivan, there's Colliery, there's Bywick, there's Farley, there is, um, I think it's Logger's Respite or Retreat or something it's called. Go to one of those and turn all of your iron ingots in, oh, iron, oh, sorry, iron, blah, blah, let me go right, all your silver into ingots. Um, so you're gonna have to keep running around to sell it, tell your stuff to these people that are close by. But I mean, Bywick, a prime example, the furnace is directly next to the blacksmith. So even if you turn it all in and over and cumber yourself, you can turn to the guy and sell everything to him. You'll make a crap ton of cash, as you can see from my money in the top corner up here. And you get 65, I believe, experience points for every iron ingot. You only need one iron, um, I keep saying iron, I do apologize. Every silver ingot, you only need one silver ore to turn into a silver ingot. You need three iron ore to turn into an iron ingot. So that's why it makes it better. Um, so do that, basically, rinse, repeat. 65 experience points. If you go into that mine and mine it dry as well, like two to three pickaxes worth you're probably gonna get from that somewhere in the region of thousand maybe even two thousand experience points if you can successfully craft it or awesome. if it's gonna be awful quality you might not manage it uh, but you need 10 pieces of silver to get 650 20 pieces of silver double that you're gonna burn through experience points like crazy and just keep doing it just uh, you can go back to one of those towns hopefully they've got a pickaxe for sale um and just buy as many pickaxes as you can get your hands on in some ways if not then craft it string uh sticks they're pretty much everywhere small rocks easy to find string okay you need to get the thread for that if you go sort of either run from farley almost straight from farley to bywick there's a load of cotton on the way doesn't matter what quality the cotton and the string is if, if you can manage to make it that's all that matters um or if you go west of bywick quite a bit you go past a big like um church or abandoned looking abbey go a bit further from that head a slightly northwest and there's loads of rare, rare cotton around there i say loads there's enough grab that turn it in string or thread turn it in string boom there you go but you don't even need to, you don't even have to be rare it doesn't have to be like good stuff you find stuff in crates make sure you've got plenty of pickaxes and that's how you get through this class I'm sorry it's not a more exciting video but it's not an exciting class it's been nerfed i don't like it there's nothing exciting about this class anymore and it was my second favorite and it just doesn't feel exciting it's lost all the ability to make dyes and make furniture and all sorts of stuff i mean they've changed the way how they work so that's fine but at this point, it's just not very exciting. It's not a very good class. That, in my personal opinion, is the reason to bother with this class. And that may be. I will check both of these classes out. Um, I don't know how quickly I'm going to manage to get through Blacksmith. And that's a bit of a labour of love. And I want to do that one next. Um, but I aim to do it. And then I'll probably move over towards Militia. And then I'll move over towards... Um, hunter and you know do those as well but blacksmith's my next aim anyway so yeah that's it merchant it's a stepping stone that you have to do to get to blacksmith or monk beyond that no it's not any good anymore bit of a shame really if 
they changed it and you kept all the peasant skills, I'd be more enthused by it. Um, I think I would have enjoyed doing different stuff to get through the class more so. But as it stands, mine silver, turn it to ingots, go do it again. Um, yeah. So, till the next video, which will be my probably my blacksmith overview. Um, thank you for watching. As I say, sorry it wasn't more exciting. And game will work out.